live in Colorado. We like to do a little bit of winter camping, maybe use the uh, Echo while we go skiing and whatnot. And with the four of us, the only way to do that is to use the pop top. Uh, the pop top's a pretty thin canvas. It's durable, it's mostly waterproof, but it's not very warm. So uh, I found a, an insulating blanket for the, for the pop top from a company called Franchers. They do uh, custom upholstery for all sorts of different uh, vehicles. And they, it sounds like they've been doing uh, insulating quilts for pop tops for, for a long time now. So lots of good, uh, good reviews there. It comes in this pretty good, cool, durable looking uh, storage bag. And uh, to in install it, it's a pretty simple process, but a little more involved than I, I think I expected because we have to drill holes through the canvas pop top and that's a little, uh, a little unnerving. I didn't see any videos out there on how to do it. So uh, I figured I would document the experience and see how it goes and uh, see if it really is as straightforward as it claims. Um, first step of the instructions is to take all the uh, panels, I guess it comes in four panels out of the bag, lay them out and uh, go from there. So I got it all laid out. Uh, I organized it on the floor just like it would be installed inside the pop top. And uh, the next step is going to be to take each panel out one by one. And uh, it, each panel has some pre-installed uh, button snaps uh, on each one. So I take it out to the camper, take it up into the pop top, and uh, mark where each one of the uh, new snaps needs to be installed. And uh, so that's what we'll do next. between the stitching. First button's in, we snapped it. So it's all the way installed in that corner. We'll stretch it. Nice and tight all the way around. I think that's in a good spot. Mm -hmm. There's the Sharpie right there. Mm -hmm. Bring it down with you in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold it up. Whoops, <laughs> right there. Maybe that's why the directions say to use a pencil. <laughs> oh man. Can't blame the kids for that. Nope, I got the first markers. <laughs> the directions also say to be very careful not to let the drill slip. Okay, we'll pop through another snap. Seems 
like it might go in better or easier with a little bit of rotation. Which it does. All right, that's popped in. I'll go outside and tighten down the lock nut. All right, so we got two of the snaps in, uh, one on the far back, one in the front most corner. Uh, so now we'll go through and we'll mark the, uh, the interior or middle three snaps to drill, drill through those, and then, uh, then put the lock nuts on from the outside. All right, can mark these three. things first thing the kit comes with almost everything you need uh, they give you all the studs the nuts uh, a drill bit um, so it's appropriately sized and they even give you the uh, Phillips head number two uh, just the Phillips head bit if you were to use like a, a driver impact wrench or something like that for uh, installation <clears throat> and next is some highlights from the instructions a couple of notes one said use a pencil well, that little black Sharpie mark on the ceiling tells you why a uh, pencil might be an ideal choice rather than Sharpie. Second, um, it says make sure that you don't drill through any of the, uh, the threads. And you can see here the two rows of thread here. And that adds structure and support here. So you definitely don't want to go through those when you drill. Um, so that's really what you're using to center your, uh, your drill. Uh, next, it's the uh, the quilted side. The white quilted side is the interior. Uh, the exterior side of the panel is more of a, seems like a more durable nylon type material. And I'm also noticing that the uh, front panel has these retention straps so that it looks like you'd still be able to use the uh, forward vent screen while you have the panels installed without having to unsnap them. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna keep moving. Also just realizing on the front panel, I don't know if it's a new design feature or what, uh, this is marketed for the Solus, uh, not necessarily the Echo, which is what we have, but it is the same pop top. Um, but on the front side, there's this Velcro vent, which is a nice little feature, but it also means that you can't really put your snaps on this side. If you did, obviously you would be securing this flat permanently. So with this down, I plan on drilling, you can see there's still the two rows of uh, thread here. So that's why I plan on drilling through it. I just have to drill through the uh, hook and loop Velcro here. And then I imagine after we do that, the, what is Velcro over the snap? And we want to close this bit. Which doesn't mention that in the instructions anywhere. Maybe it's just common sense, but uh, I also think those instructions were from a really long time ago. The, the photos are digital photos that have date stamps in the bottom and they're, you know, over a decade old. So would, would not be surprised if uh, they're just really old and that feature wasn't really on the pop tops back then. Also something worth noting is through that Velcro, you really wouldn't be able to mark it with a pencil. So you almost need to have a Sharpie so that you can mark it so it's visible on this uh, hook and loop here since it's so dark. Another tip or trick. Uh, it wasn't all that easy to push this through with just your fingers, just your thumbs. The, uh, the drill hole is just slightly smaller than the uh, diameter of the fastener. So just sticking it on the end of the tip, uh, screwdriver tip 
makes it a lot easier just to kind of poke it through and you can work it back and forth as you do. And then it goes in pretty easy. We got the first panel in so now we gotta start working our way around the uh once the first panel is up uh you just kind of have to center it by eyeball uh there's a little bit of play because you've got you know an inch of velcro sort of on the each end of each panel so you can be off just a little bit and it'll still work out all right uh, so we just eyeballed it as best we could and then we'll use that panel to just get everything else lined up I will say it is not that easy to work on the small end of this pop top as a uh, grown ass man. <laughs> it's not, not a whole lot of room to work in here. All right, so I've got the rear corner, you know, kind of tucked in and Velcroed. Just line it up as best you can. And then just kind of pick the first one to mark. mark there then we'll grab the drill and drill that one and it does look like just by eyeballing here around the edge that it's not necessarily perfectly centered so it's gonna be just I don't know maybe an inch or so kind of rotated off from square but it shouldn't make a difference because everything seems to have just enough play in it to uh, make it all the way around no problem so I'm not even halfway through with this process yet, but I will say that when I first walked up here, I mean, it's only like 54 degrees outside right now, but it's sunny and it was hot up here. I mean, I've got all the, the screens open and it was pretty comfortable, but you could feel the heat radiating off the side of the canvas. And even with just one panel up on the sun side, you don't feel that radiant heat anymore. It's, it's a lot more, um, neutral up here it's comfortable uh without that heat kind of blasting on the on the side of the tent there so that's a good first impression i'm, I'm hoping that that bodes well after we get all the panels up uh, we want to use it either in really warm or really cold weather that it's going to do a good job insulating i want to say that it's marketed as a r8 value for insulation um, but so far first impressions are good all right so all the way on the back panel uh, the rear most, most panel right in the middle. There's only one snap in the middle of this panel and it comes together where the flap of the uh, canvas uh, overlaps here. And so rather than just having two stitches, there's three. Uh, just, I don't know, using some common sense and some guesswork, just keeping in line with these top two, just centered the hole where it needed to be and uh, in between those two you are going to be drilling through a couple layers of hook and loop here plus the uh, what do they call this the tail edge or tail seam whatever this thing's called so you're drilling through a little bit more here and you kind of pull some fluff through from the uh, velcro and then if you ever did need to replace the canvas or have to take all this apart uh, obviously you would have to take this snap out before you could uh, undo it but I don't really plan on replacing the canvas anytime soon. All right, I uh, got it all in. A couple observations. First, it was relatively easy, pretty straightforward, except for the couple of hiccups uh, that I already mentioned. And it does a pretty nice job of covering all the walls all the way around. Fits pretty good, except for I might email them and ask them a question because it seems like the front panel is just about an inch or two too short. Uh, up top, we had to put the uh, snap studs in uh, where the instructions tell you to between those two threaded lines. And when you do that, there's like an inch and a half inch gap at the bottom. And it hangs out pretty far. So obviously 
I'm gonna have to come up with some solution to keep this kind of forward against the canvas. Uh, but that'd be a lot easier if it hung down, I don't know, a couple inches further. I mean, there's even, there's more Velcro here on, on both sides where it looks like it might have been designed to extend down that far, but we just got a short front panel. So I'll email uh, Fanchers, Fanchers, Fanchers. <laughs> Uh, I'll email them and ask them and uh, maybe this is just an off cut or something like that and they can Send us another one or maybe it's by design for a specific reason, but yeah once I figure it out I'll let you know otherwise uh, for the most part aside from that Shortcut on the front. I like it so far the uh, I will say that center stud all the way in the back right back there uh, What I went at the back I'll, I'll put a picture in the video here it it did have to go through a couple double layers of uh the hook and loop and when it did there almost wasn't enough of the screw portion to get the the lock nut on so i had the uh my helper kind of angle the screwdriver sort of aggressively to get the the screw to to stick out the shortest or th uh, thinnest side of that hook and loop so I could barely get the uh, the lock nut on there and then tighten it down. Uh, and I also realized that on the back of the Echo here with this pop top, there's really no convenient place to get up on the roof, uh, especially when you're trying to reach underneath the back of the pop top cover to tighten that. It was it was really inconvenient. I, I, I wish I would have gotten a video because it probably would have been pretty hilarious with me trying to balance on uh, like a one and a half foot by two foot square while dangling off the roof trying to tighten that, but it is what it is. Um, but I got it on there and it works. Uh, had I realized what was back there, I might have, um, I might have started with the back panel. That I don't know if that would have been ideal. Maybe that would have shifted everything a little too much, but if I could have moved that center stud just even a half inch further to the left, it would have been way easier. Um, otherwise, we'll see. We might be able to take it up tonight uh, and do some cold weather camping and see how warm it stays. I don't know if it's going to fit in the plans. Maybe it'll be next week, but uh, we'll let you know how it goes. All right, time for an update. Uh, it's been about a week and we haven't used the uh, the pop top yet in the winter or anything, but uh, I did, after I installed the, the panels the other day, email the uh, manufacturer, uh, Fanchers, which I know earlier in the video, I said Franchers, which is not the right name. Uh, but I emailed them and I said, hey, it looks like it's a little short and it's hanging down sort of into the, the opening. And it's really, uh, doesn't seem like it's that effective down at the bottom of the panel. So they said, hey, send it back. Maybe it was cut wrong. And it was cut to their original specs, but it, it was obviously short. So they said, hey, we'll, uh, we'll recut a new one. And uh, what if we attach a couple of Velcro tabs at the bottom to hold it forward? And I said, yeah, that seems like a good plan. And there we go. It's great, it's perfect. Matches up on both sides. It lines up down at the bottom, which it wasn't doing uh, before. It was just a couple inches short. It overlaps the front of the plastic just by a little bit. And uh, the Velcro that they included works perfect. It holds the bottom of the panel forward so it stays out of the way. It uh, covers all the canvas. So it's great. It was great customer service. Uh, I shipped it out to them and uh, they called me the night that they received it. They said they were going to work on it after hours and then uh, they sent it back the next business day and it uh, got here two days later. So uh, I'm real happy about that. It's uh, it's working great. It's, you know, believe it or not, it's like hot up here <laughs> right now. So I do think it's gonna hold the heat really well. Uh, we're gonna head up tomorrow, I think, to test it out in the uh, mountains and maybe go on a ski trip, see how it goes. We'll post an update, but so far, so good.